Weeds can be the most limiting factor in cranberry production. Weeds compete with the crop for light, water, nutrients, and space. Our research at the UMass Cranberry Station in East Wareham, Massachusetts indicates that cranberry plants are damaged by flame cultivation, but that they do recover from the effects. Small, handheld propane torches allow for localized impact to weeds while minimizing the damage to surrounding crop areas. Weeds growing in non-crop areas such as ditches, dikes, and bog edges can spread easily onto the farm area. Weeds in these areas are important to control. Flame cultivation could be used on large areas where damage to cranberry vine is not a concern. On bogs, flame cultivation would ideally be used to spot treat individual weeds before they invade larger areas. Perennial plants live for two or more years. These types of plants store energy in the form of starches and carbohydrates. For many perennial plants, the low point in stored reserves occurs around the time of flowering and seed production. Flame cultivation works best if used when plant reserves are at their lowest, so they have less energy for regrowing. The majority of weeds found on cranberry bogs are perennial plants. Woody perennial weeds like dewberry can be very problematic. Flame cultivation damages above ground plant structures such as leaves and stems and leaves the weeds with reduced resources for regrowing. This is a weed control technique known as carbohydrate starvation. Preliminary research by our lab at the UMass Cranberry Station shows that flame cultivation significantly reduces the size of dewberry plants. Preliminary research also shows that rushes are susceptible to damage by flame cultivation. Annual weeds may also be a good target for flame cultivation. Daughter, a parasitic weed, treated before or during flowering did not produce seeds and field trials. Not all weeds will be significantly damaged by flame cultivation, nor should they be treated with fire. Noxious weeds like poison ivy should never be burned because irritants could become airborne and cause serious health problems. Research on sawbriar did not show that flame cultivation reduced the plant biomass. This could be because a large proportion of these plants are underground structures, so damaging above ground parts does not impact the plant as significantly as it would for a weed species that had more of its overall mass above ground. We still have a lot to learn about flame cultivation and cranberry weeds. Check back for new information and please share any experience you have using flame cultivation with us.